So soil is essential for plant for two important things. Especially urban, semi-urban uh, farming lands are heavily contaminated. This is not an artificial uh, method of farming. Very precisely provide all the nutrition and with the safest form. Whether it be plants or human beings, it is soil which gives them the necessary support. But in Kana, by using sustainable agricultural methods, plants are being grown without using this life-supporting soil by the Agricultural Methods team in the Hydroponics Department. This project is being carried on with the help and guidance of Heartfulness Guide, Daji. Let's find out more about this great cultivation method. So soil is essential for plant for two important things. One is for plant to anchor, the roots have to go spread and, and take the grip. And the second one is that all the nutrition, what the plant requires, draw from the soil. So when we can provide the support without soil and when we can also supply all the essential nutrients. This process is called soilless farming or hydroponics. Is soilless agriculture an artificial method compared to natural agricultural techniques? How do the plants get the necessary nutrients? In fact, why is such a method necessary? So, first of all, uh, we should uh, understand, I mean, this is not an artificial uh, method of farming because we are not doing any kind of manipulations to the plant. What we are actually doing is the supplying the same thing what plant otherwise is depending on the soil here in a different kind of environment. See the, the, the soils what we are actually using for agriculture especially urban semi-urban uh, farming lands are heavily contaminated, contaminated with uh, uh, the, the sewerage water which is running out from the cities and also the industrial effluents and they are actually going and getting into these plants. So this methodology helps us to very precisely provide all the nutrition and with the safest form without touching, disturbing the, uh, the soils and the, I know the, with a very minimal amounts of water. So this technology helps us to grow the farming, you know, the, anywhere in the city or any uh, climatic conditions and any season of the year. So we, we can rest assured with our uh, food supply. What kind of environment is needed for soilless agriculture? So it's a very simple way of growing. It requires a little water and uh, some minerals. There are about 17 different minerals. There's a formulations available. Commercially, you can buy the nutrient formulations or you can make on your own. There's a few salts and minerals. These are called uh, essential nutrients for the plant, micro macronutrients. Okay? So they mix them in the, uh, uh, you know, the water which goes through these channels continuously through a small motor and then uh, they maintain the conductivity and the pH of the uh, liquid. We can grow them in balconies, we can grow them on rooftops, it, it just in the open or we can just put some uh, green shade net just to protect from the direct uh, sunlight or any birds coming in or something like that. But when someone wants to go at a commercial scale, want to build uh, a few acres of farms and then do it, then all that what is going to cost is the greenhouse to be built and governments are giving subsidies to the greenhouse. And the, uh, uh, there is also a cost on these infrastructures to be built, but that you can recover in uh, one and a half to two years time with whatever crop you are growing. These are very high value, high quality and you, you can sell it at a, a premium uh, uh, grade, all the produce which comes from here because they are highly nutritious, free from any pesticides, any contaminants and, and everything. It is sold as healthy food. What measures need to be taken to grow these plants? And what kind of plants can be grown? So these plants are also get subjected to uh, any kind of diseases, pest and all like any uh, the crop outside. 
But since we grow with little protection, the possibility of getting uh, infected is less. And then it is a very close monitoring because you have the plants in uh, you know, the multiple layers and very dense uh, plants. When we want to monitor it, so easy to monitor. So uh, we use the biological control agents for to control any diseases, uh, to control any pest. Uh, you know, the, when it is in a very small, uh, minute level, one or two insect, if you see, if you just uh, take that spray, biological sprays, and that takes care of uh, the control measures. So it is easy to control and manage the pest without dumping any pesticides or anything. When it comes to the uh, multiple layers of uh, growing these uh, the plants, per unit area, how much we are harvesting, that's the unit measure we take. So we go for the uh, uh, height, you know, the multiple layers. So uh, when it comes to that, how many layers we can go, and you know, that all depends on like how much sunlight you will be able to get to the bottom layer of the uh, plant. Here in this uh, setup, like we actually maintained a certain distance between rows to row and we also want to uh, make the, uh, the, you know, the managers and farm workers very convenient to reach even the top layer just by hand without using the ladders. So we, uh, we, we put around, you know, the six layers of uh, the uh, plants here. So that's uh, very good enough uh, to uh, go with. You can grow any crop in, in hydroponics. All that we supposed to see is whether it is going to be economically viable or not. If you want to grow like uh, rice or wheat or uh, some millets kind of a things in this one, because each plant gives a very limited quantity, this system is not going to be economically viable. So you, here in Kanha, so we are growing uh, all sorts of exotic and Indian leafy vegetables like amaranth, palak, coriander, mint, uh, lettuces, uh, uh, basil, celery, parsley, kale, uh, many of this kind of uh, 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 leafy greens. Uh, and at the same time, we are also growing other vegetables like brinjal, uh, chilies, zucchini, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes and all sorts of uh, vegetables we are growing here in hydroponics. And that's what uh, our uh, uh, the Kanha residents are uh, using. This experiment being carried out in Kanha, keeping in mind environmental protection, safety, sustainability, conservation of the micronutrients in the soil is definitely worth emulating.